Today is strictly an all-Canadian episode as our most famous snack cake maker is mixed things up, quite literally. Hello, food freaks. Welcome to That's Rank. There's a few things in the world that make me proud to be a Canadian. For example, our colorful currency, the invention of the telephone, and of course, Vachon snack cakes. You can keep your ding-dongs and your ho-hos, because as long as we got the Joe Louie, we hold the keys to the snack cake kingdom. However, the question today is whether or not they've gone a little bit too far and ventured into territory they shouldn't have dared to go. Well, that's what we're gonna find out today, because they've combined a few of their most popular snack cakes into a single one with their new passion caramel, which combines their incredible tender passion flaky with the rich ah caramel. And of course, over here, they've got the ah Louis, combining the ah caramel with the velvety Joe Louie. You know what, I'm excited. Let's do this thing. Let's kick off today's festivities with the passion caramel. So for the global viewers of this program who've never seen an original passion flaky cake or even Canadians that are living under a rock, the Passion Flaky is this super light layered dough. You know, think of it like a phyllo dough, layered almost like a baklava, but with more air in between each subsequent floor of the pastry, and then stuffed with strawberry jam and cream. What this version is promising is basically replacing the strawberry jam with their caramel, which is at the middle of their ah caramel, and we'll get a better look at what an actual ah caramel is later with uh, the ah uh, Louis. Now, growing up, we never had passion flakies in the house, which was probably a good move by my mother, because those things leave these pastry flakes in its wake for weeks on end. If you put those in the hands of a small child, you'll be picking pastry flakes out of your hair forever. Although that concept probably would have made for a hell of a Head & Shoulders commercial back in the 90s. After just one week with Head & Shoulders, passion flakes are reduced by up to 70%. Say goodbye to passion flakes and feel confident at your next job interview thanks to Head & Shoulders. Let's take a look at the goods. Ow! Yes, I just gave myself a paper cut with a box. Crikey. Okay, I wanted to get my camera out so that you can see the various layers in play. And again, if you've never had one of these in your life, you can probably now understand what I'm talking about in terms of the light layers inside this cake. Like if I was to press this down with my hand, it probably wouldn't be much thicker than Callista Flockhart. Unlike a baklava, of course, which is like a thousand layers thick and it can't be flattened without an industrial press. Yikes. Good, we have a wasp. So I don't know that the caramel's actually adding anything because the strawberry jam that usually goes inside this is actually a really good contrast by itself. It gives like a gentle tartness alongside the sweet cream and then the heavily sugared dough. The caramel in this, it just adds an extra layer of sugar. So it's a lot of sweet on sweet on sweet and not much else. It's not bad. It's plenty tasty, and it really is hard to find fault with a Vachon snack cake. I'd go B tier because while I've definitely had better, I wouldn't kick you out of bed for sliding one of these over to me in the middle of the night. Actually, on second thought, I probably would kick you out of bed because you'd leave me itching like the second round of chicken pox that I've never had. For God's sakes, guys, don't eat these in bed. You're gonna leave messes, you'll be sorry. Now this Frankenstein monster of a snack cake has my full attention. The Joe Louie, for all intents and purposes. And guys, this is a fact, you can look it up. It's not just my opinion. It is the best snack cake in the entire world. You can argue, try to think objectively all you want. You're, you're wrong if you disagree. It's a super light, two layered velvet cake with cream in the middle, and then just that thin chocolate shell. God, I rest my case, guys. And then over here, you've got Vachon tinkering with perfection. Ballsy. I wouldn't have done it. So what they're doing is they're using the ah uh, caramel as its base, but they've taken that Joe Louis red velvet cake and they've transported some of it into um, its corpse. See this part here? That's usually white cake, but they've changed it now. It's gonna be a wildly different experience. Gonna tread carefully. I don't want another paper cut. It's been my whole life, a struggle with getting boxes open. I walked right into that one. Keep, keep your jokes to yourselves, guys. Uh, well, it looks very unspectacular on the outside, just, you know, a massive chocolate shell, but uh, the good stuff, that's what's in here. I probably 
Should have cross-sectioned this for you guys, but I forgot my knife and cutting board and uh, I'm lazy, so, uh, so here we go. Wow. 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 Unbelievable. Normal, ah caramels, they're fine. The problem is the cake, a little bit bland, but it helps heighten the caramel portion, I guess, but because it's more cake than anything else, uh, it winds up just being okay because the cake's not great. This though, this is a masterpiece. They've replaced the bad cake with the good cake. So what they've done is they've transformed this into something that Leonardo da Vinci himself would be proud of. See, it's not an au caramel anymore. What they've done is they've turned it into a pseudo Joe Louis, different packaging, but it's basically a Joe Louis. But if you thought they were done with just making this a Joe Louis, oh no, oh no. They've added that thick golden caramel just to run down all over that moist velvety cake like a satiny blanket of sensuality. If you're not picking up what I'm putting down, it's in the S tier. Absolutely incredible. To have something this good come out of Quebec of all places, it feels like the impossible dream, but they've done it. Mets ça dans ton pantre tout de suite, mon job. Tabarnak, c'est du bon gâteau. Wow. Guys, would you look at that? We got through a whole episode without me hating on anything or needing to bleep out anything because my American friends don't realize that I just used some French swear words. And I came away with two new products that I can recommend. Guys, I think there's only one way to cap off this truly Canadian episode and let me give you a goodbye the Canadian way. Uh, bye. We don't actually do anything fancy. We just awkwardly stand around in parking lots for a couple of hours after the fact because no one wants to be the one to rudely walk away first. You're gonna leave me, aren't you? See you next time. <laughs>